Hi friends. Uh, in this video, I am giving you a brief idea about uh, how to add two 16-bit numbers. Okay, and similarly, how to subtract two 16-bit numbers. So, in previous programs, uh, in previous videos especially, I explained uh, how to add uh, two 8-bit numbers. Okay. Now, here, let us see how to add two 16-bit numbers. Right. See now. Let us see what is our aim. Write an assembly language program to add or to subtract two 16-bit numbers starts from 3000H memory location. Let us see. Okay, how to write for this particular program? We should add, and similarly, we should you simply if you change the mnemonic, we can subtract okay, two 16-bit numbers. Okay. Starts from 3000H. Let us see. I'm selecting these two 16-bit numbers. One 16-bit number is A B C D H. Other 16-bit number is C D A B H. So here C D is the lower byte of this number and A B is the higher byte. Similarly, A B is the lower byte and C D is the higher byte. Let us see how to give 16-bit number directly into location. Generally, every memory location can store only 8-bit, but uh, this number is 16-bit. Let us see how to uh, assign uh, bytes into memory location. First, always we should give lower byte to first location, next higher byte to next location, like that. Let us see. Uh, starts from 3000, right? For that, uh, I am taking 3000H memory location. In that location, I am selecting first uh, first number lower byte, that is CDH. Then, uh, 3001 location, I am selecting first number higher byte, that is ABH. Similarly, I need two more locations for selecting the next 16-bit number, that is a 3002 location contains lower byte of uh, second number, 3003 contains higher uh, byte of second number, that is CDH. Okay, now if you add these two numbers, let us see what is result. So, in calculator, we can directly see the result. Or we can convert these 16-bit numbers into binaries and add also. Or directly also we can add D plus B. Okay, if it is more than uh, 16, then subtract total uh, from 16, we get. If it is more than 16, then let's, let's say we get uh, carry. Like that also directly we can add. Let us see one more alternative with calculator how we can give values here. For example, I am clearing. So, what is my first number? A, B, C, D. First, you select X. In calculator, also you select programmer. So, X, uh, one is A, B, C, D. So, A, B is uh, higher byte and C, D is the lower byte. That is added to C, D, A, B. So, C, D, A, B. Let us see what is my result. First byte is 78. Next byte is 79. And next byte is 0, 1. So let us see, 78, first byte, result, next byte is 79, the next byte is 0, 01. Because uh, two 16 bit numbers, just for a just for multiplication, also if we take reference into account, for that I am taking uh, two locations for lower 16 bit result and two locations for higher 16 bit results. For addition and subtraction, uh, carry requires only one location. Okay, in order to go for multiplication and division, if it is 16 bit operation, we need two locations for uh, 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 remainder result. For that uh, case, I am taking two locations here also. But uh, for addition and subtraction, one location is same. Okay. So, we need to verify it whether uh, 3004, 5, 6, 7 contains these values or not. Okay. After performing 16 bit uh, addition. Subtraction means uh, simply instead of addition, we perform no subtraction instruction, we get uh, subtraction results. So, what is first step? We should uh, select DAS box. Okay. Then Alt Enter to make a full size. Then Mount M O U N T space D space D colon because eight zero eight six is in D drive. That's why D space D colon slash. If it is in E drive, E space E colon slash. Then D colon. Then we are in D drive. Then C D space. 8086 because uh, 8086 mass and folder is available in D drive. That's why I'm selecting CD space 8086 folder related to mass and related uh, software. Then end, uh, then uh, selection is over. Then edit. We can write the uh, program easily here. But it's first step for every time we should uh, make it as a code segment. Segment then assume CS colon code then start, start of the program then xr operation ax comma ax here i am clearing ax register in that al and ah both are clear 
then move bx comma ax for 16 bit operation we need a 16 bit registers okay bx is also cleared because ax cleared accordingly if you pass ax data to bx bx is also cleared the next one is move uh, dx comma ax because uh, if you perform two 16 bit addition result is more than 16 bit so that remaining uh, the remaining part of the result if it is more than 16 bit more than 16 bit data is stored in dx because dx is another default register for that we should initialize dx that's why i'm writing move dx comma ax okay all three uh, registers initialization everything is okay then what is the next step first we should select uh, 3000 location for that i am using move si comma 3000 then move ax comma box of si so in this case what happens my ax takes the data from 3000 memory location because size of ax is 16 bit so it can uh, take uh, uh, data 16 bit data from 3000 and 3000 for example if it is al 8 bit data so 3000 location uh, contains 8 bit data it can transform but because size of ax is 16 bit so automatically it can allocate two locations 3000 and 3001 3000 uh, location data is transferred to al 3001 location data is transferred to ah register automatically then what is the next step i need uh, two more locations for selecting another 16 bit data for that i am add si comma 0 to h in this case what happens my si is now uh, already 3000 that is added to 0 to. then my next uh, si is 3002 so from 3002 and 3003 i need to take uh, data so that's why move bx comma box of s so my bx takes data from 3002 and 3003 so ax can receiving data from 3000 and 3001 and bx receiving data from 3002 and 3003 then what is the next step and but let us see add ax comma bx so after performing addition operation what happens so ax data and bx data both are adding and result is stored in ax okay if, it, if result is more than 16 bit we have carry then we need to check it whether carry is occurred or not in this arithmetic operation okay then what is the next step uh, because i need to store this ax result into next location for that add si comma 0 to h Okay, then what is my SI 3000? Already 3002, that is added to 0. Then now SI is 3004. Then move uh, my AX result into 3004 location. So AX is 16 bit, that's why uh, it will allocate two locations. 3004 location receiving AL value, 3005 lo location receiving AH value automatically. Then what is the next step? I need to check uh, in this particular uh, arithmetic operation, is there any carry is occurred or not? Like uh, 8 bit addition, how we are checking carry, here also same thing, carry L1. Okay, here uh, one problem is there in this particular case. See, what is the, uh, just recently completed arithmetic instruction add SI comma 0 to. So this jump carry instruction always checks which is the recent arithmetic instruction. Recent arithmetic instruction is add SI comma 0 to. In this case, if any carry occurs, then only it will check. But our problem is uh, during this addition, if any carry occurred, we need to verify. That's why. I am simply interchanging these two instructions. Okay. First I am incrementing the SI, then I am performing the add. No change in the expression point of view. So now here uh, the jump, in, jump carry instruction will check uh, uh, in this addition operation if any carry is occurred or not. Okay. Okay. This is very important step. Concentrate. Okay. Why I am changing uh, these two additions. Okay. If write uh, this one bottom, then. Uh, we are not we are not observing the carry result of our actual addition ax bx that's why i am interchanging jump to carry then if carry is occurred it will go to l1 label if carry is not occurred what happens so then we need to store uh, original dx well nothing but initially without carry what is dx all four zeros so we should pass all four zeros to next location for that add i comma zero to h okay then what is the next step? No. Okay, add SI comma 0 to then move box of SI comma DX. Move box of SI comma DX. This is without uh, occurring carry. Then in the end of the program, if there is no carry. Unfortunately, if carry present, then this is L1 now. Unfortunately, if carry present, what happens? Now we are incrementing DX register. So previously without carry dx is four zero. So if carry is occurred, dx is incrementing. Then it becomes zero 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 one. Okay. Now that zero 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 one move to three thousand six and seven location. For that add si comma zero to h. Okay. Then move box of si comma dx. 
in the book. Okay. Yeah. See here, uh, okay, initially SI is 3000. Okay, then AX taking data from 3000 and 3001. Then later SI is added to 0. Two. Now SI is 3002. So BX takes data from 3002 and 3003. Later SI is uh, added to, what is SI now after this? SI is year 3002, year 3004. So my AX sending data to 3004 and 5. My DX sending data to 3006 uh, and 7. Here also 3006 and 7. Because uh, either uh, these three instructions are executing, depending on the uh, carry. Otherwise, if carry occurred, these, these instructions are executing. Okay? That's why uh, carry results are present in 3006 and 7. Uh, first two, uh, two bytes results are present in 3,405. So program is over. Then at the end, then end start. Okay, this is for the program for adding two 16-bit numbers. It is a two uh, subtraction of two 16-bit numbers means instead of add x comma b x, you can write s u b subtract s u b mnemonic is s u b a x comma b x. Same program, we can subtract two 16-bit numbers. Okay. So then save file. So what is file extension? For example, 16-bit uh, addition. Okay, add 16. Dot addition of 16-bit. That's why I'm writing like add 16. Dot asm. File name extension should be dot asm. Then save. Then file exit. You can type first. What is first command? Masm. Uh, add 16. Dot asm. File name dot asm. Four times enter. Then link. Uh, add 16 file name dot obj four times one two three four then debug debuc file name uh, add 16 dot exe so first run what is run command g equal to four zeros then for giving the input command is e, e space 3000 in that uh, how many values i need to give first for first two, uh, uh, 16 bit number i need two locations in that one should be cd in our example Okay, first uh, value CD, then AB as per theoretical example. That is for first 16 bit. Next 16 bit number starts from 3002 and 3. So, what is the number AB, CD? Okay, like that I was given initially in the example. Okay, selection of four numbers, uh, two 16 bit numbers are over, then run again. G equal to 4 years. So, where I need to see the results, D space 3004, 3001 for first 16 bit number. See 3002 and 3 for uh, next 16 bit number. So 3004, 3004, 5 for uh, first uh, uh, two bytes result. Carry result 3006 and 7. So that's why 3006 to 3004 to 3007. So for the result, so let us see 78 is the lower byte of uh, addition, 79 is the next byte, 0, 01 is the carry side value, 00. zero. So we get uh, even in the theoretical examples also, we can verify same result, right? Like that, we can add uh, two 16 bit numbers or we can subtract two 16 bit numbers just by changing the mimic. Now, in order to exit, quit, then exit. 